Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chef Pam and this is Chef and More. And today we are going to be making crispy fried onion rings. Yes. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, the easy and simple way, subscribe so that you won't miss any of my videos and tap that bell so you'll always be notified. We're going to get started right now. Okay guys, the first thing we need to do is slice up our onions. I'm going to be slicing them at about a half of inch thickness. And you just want to separate them by punching them through gently to form the rings. This little skin part inside, if it's coming out, you can go ahead and just take it out. You don't really need it. Okay, just separate them and then we put them into water. This is just regular room temperature water. Let me get the skin off of here right now. And we soak them so that it takes the edge off of the onion. So you don't feel like you're biting down into raw onion. It just takes that strong onion flavor right out of them. Okay, so I'm going to slice up a couple of more slices. I'm just making enough onion rings for maybe about two or three servings. Just separate them and put them in the water. We're going to let them soak maybe about five minutes while we make our batter. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish getting these onion rings sliced up. And sometimes when you slice them, as you see right here, they actually break. And I just go ahead and set those aside. You want to get as many actual rings as you can. You can fry up the extra pieces, but for presentation purposes, you want just the rings. Okay, now it's time for our batter. This is just a simple batter. I'm using about a half of a cup of flour. We're going to put some seasonings in it starting with more onion powder and yes even though they're onions we're using onion powder because we need the flavor in the batter as well this is garlic powder and i'm probably adding about a teaspoon each uh, to the flour then we're going to add in some paprika that's going to give it a nice color onto the golden brown fried onion rings and a little chili powder for just a tad bit of heat. Okay guys, and then we're also adding in a little uh, sea salt. We're gonna put that in here too. You always wanna add a little salt because it's going to just bring out the flavors. So just shake a few times of salt in there. Then last but not least, we're going to add some parsley flakes. Now, any of these ingredients that you don't want in, you can always just simply leave them out or add your own flavor ingredients in as well. Now, before we add our liquid, we want to make sure that our herbs and spices are evenly distributed. I'm going to add a little bit more parsley flakes. Make sure they're all evenly distributed throughout. Just mix them well. Then we're going to go ahead and add in water. Now I have about a cup of water here, but I'm probably only going to use about half of that. And you want to add your water in just a little bit at a time because you can't take it out, but you can always add more. Make sure it's mixed really well. And at the end, you want your batter to be the consistency of maybe cake batter or a pancake batter. Either one, you don't want it too thick because then it will just clump up and you will bite into the onion ring and you'll have a ring of batter that will come off and we don't want that. And if it's too thin, when you go to coat the onion rings, your batter will be spotted when you fry it. You'll have a little batter here, then this piece of onion won't have the batter on it and the ring will not be fully coated. So it's important to mix it well and to have the right consistency for your batter. 
Okay, get this all mixed up really well. And like I said, if you need to add more water, add it a little bit at a time. Okay, now I'm going to coat the onion rings. I've drained the water off. This is cornmeal that I'm shaking on here now. We're going to put this on here so that the batter will adhere. And to the cornmeal, I'm going to add a little bit of corn starch. After we get this on here, we just want to gently toss the rings. Make sure you gently toss it so that the rings don't break. Okay, just make sure that they are all coated, well coated. Then we'll be ready to head over to the stove so that we can get them all fried up. Yes, okay guys. Now we have our skillet on medium high heat. The oil has been heated. Since the batter sat just a couple of seconds there, you wanna make sure you give it another good stir. Now we're going to put our onions in the batter one ring at a time. You do not wanna put all of your rings in the batter at one time. They'll clump up together and it'll just be one big mess. Also guys, shake off as much of the extra batter as you can before putting them into the hot oil. Also, as you put them in the hot oil, make sure that they are not touching and give them room. Do not overcrowd the skillet and do not drop a bunch in at one time. The batter will clump up and stick all together. And make sure you get the extra batter off before you put them in the hot oil. That will keep you from having a lot of little bitty pieces of batter all throughout your oil. You're going to probably get a few here and there, but you shouldn't have too many. Make sure your onion rings aren't touching when you put them into the hot oil. Okay, and make sure they're also coated very well in the batter on both sides. Okay, now I have my large cast iron skillet, but as you see, I have five onion rings in there because I don't want them crowded. You want them to kind of swim around in the oil. When they swim around in the oil, you're guaranteed that you're not going to have greasy onion rings. And guys, that goes for french fries, chicken, pretty much anything you're frying. You want it to be able to have room in the skillet to move around. When it moves around, it fries in the oil. When it's overcrowded, it soaks up the oil. So if you ever fry some chicken and you bite into it and it's really greasy, you had too many pieces in the skillet. Okay guys, yes, you wanna cook them probably about two or three minutes on each side, then give it a good turn. Look at that, nice and golden brown on that side. Yes looking really good here okay get them all turned over and we're going to let them cook on the other side for about two to three minutes okay they're ready to come out look at that guys nice and golden brown and well coated as you can see the batter is completely all over the entire onion ring and there's not a lot of crumbs in the skillet because we made sure that we took off all the extra batter. Just give it a shake before you put it in the oil. So I've got a second batch I'm going to do here, and then guys, we'll be all done. Okay, our second batch is done. We can get these out of the skillet. Yes, we are done with our onion rings and they are smelling good. I wish you guys could smell them. Woo, they smell good. And they are nice and crispy to the touch. I have them cooling on a cooling rack with paper towels underneath so that they won't get soggy by sitting directly on the paper towels. I always drain my fried food this way. Okay guys, take a look at these onion rings. Yes, don't they look nice and golden brown. Okay guys, we are all done. And if you guys like these how-to videos, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. I have the link in the description as well as right here. Leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. Tap the bell so you'll always be notified and you won't miss any of my videos. I sure am glad you guys came to hang out and cook with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for coming and watching, hanging out with me today. And I will see you next time.